Hey guys, what's up, Life6 here. Today I'm going to go and make um, a re-uploaded version of of what the heck is a shotgunner. The main reason why is because I, 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 wa uh, I watched the first one when you guys told me that it was like getting really bad with the quality. But you guys still watched it, you guys still liked it, and I'm surprised by that. So, I appreciate your support for whoever did what you did. And... The quality I saw for the video of what the heck is a shotgunner was extremely bad. It, even when it was 480, it was just like poop. Like, why? How could this happen? I mean, sure, people make mistakes, and you certainly got nowhere to run. So, life does go on, and I'm fading away slowly. Oh, it's so painful. It's so painful to look at the video. I trust me. It's fudge. A freaking no, no. I'm not going there. So yeah, it's like that. It's really difficult to watch the movie, to watch the video, or the guide. You could say so. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Well, who else is left? Mini gunners, just gonna have to ambush them later on. But anyway, so yeah, I'm just making a re-uploaded version of this guide. Okay, you just got to know. You just got to notice ahead of time, because if you don't, then we got more problems than me attempting to try to kill these dumbos. Seriously though, what the heck are these guys doing? Oh. There's the dead man. Okay, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is that... Uh, hold on. Now, what I'm trying to say is that... Um... Uh, okay. So the quality was extremely bad, and last time when I tried to record again, this is the third time I'm actually trying to record it. Um, first of all, I didn't record the second one, and then now this is the third one. The first one was bad in general because it was an extremely dumbo hacker. He hacked himself in order to make himself go super fast. He was Spike. So basically, he was unkillable. So, yeah, but I don't really want to report him because, like, we need to know the intentions first, so I don't report him. But I have to say he's hacking, I don't like that. He was at Spike, so I just, you know, did what I did best and just shut the heck up, okay? Shut the heck up. There's a Kelgo, there's a Kelgo. Kelgo's a dead man, you know? You know how fudge, I don't care anymore. Okay, now I could talk. So this is going to be the third uploaded version. Hopefully graphics are better. I mean, I found some things that might help. This is going to be an experimentational video to see if I could do well with graphics. But anyways, let's get started. Um, a shotgunner is basically the swift devil. He does extremely high m amount of damage with like close range whatsoever. Could deal a significant amount of damage, but is extremely weak HP wise. They could get decimated quickly, just like what you saw there. Far range, short range, doesn't matter. They could get killed quite easily. But close range, I guess, is like exceptional for a rifleman because riflemen aim really bad in some cases. But anyways, yeah. So they deal tons of damage, but they're really weak in HP. Um, like for example, but there are some exceptions. Like for example, Billy and Summer, they are the classics. You just don't. It's like, they're a classic. You just can't do. You just, you know, do whatever you want with them. They're like classics. They're basically the best character in the game because they're balanced. Well, that's my opinion. But, yeah, the, you could do anything with them. But for as like Helen, you need to be careful because you have sh less HP and less clip size, which means that you have to reload quite often and your damage is not so significant but is more balanced. So it's like Billy, except that you want to consider your situation wisely. It's like good character to buy early on, but I just don't play her. Um, 
and it's like for um, Cupcake or for Anna, it's like, okay, more tanky, uh, okay, more range damage, but it's like, you just gotta be careful once again, I, because she, this person's made to shoot farther away from you and still be able to deal significant damage because of 30% lethal distance. But then it's like, you shoot slow, you don't necessarily have the best clip and damage, so you just wanna be careful with that. And also, um, for a cupcake, she is basically an assassin. You really want to get, um, you really want to get advantage with your, which, you want to get advantage with, oh, that's, uh, also built. You want to get advantage, you want to take advantage of everything. You want to take advantage of the darkness, you want to take advantage of the scenery, backgrounds. You gotta take the advantage in order to do well with Cupcake. Because she is weak, and she does not necessarily shoot the best out of the best. Just want to let you know ahead of time. Just wanting to let you know ahead of time. Um, but, and also, uh, let's see, for the other characters, so, this is the real assassin. Laura's like, I, I don't see why she's good. I don't know why people play her. I guess it's the level her up so that you could get better characters, or like, this person's gonna die. But anyways, like, you gotta be careful with Laura. She's basically like a really risky class, but still able to get the job done. So it's like not necessarily the best class I wouldn't recommend to play as her, but she's good to level up just for level ups. And she still has the base of a shotgunner, so it's like not good, not bad, just don't play her. Because you have so much better options. And a rare sight. You see a blaze in the distance. Blaze, one of the worst riflemen in the entire game. But still be able to get the job done. Just like Aura. Um, and, oh yeah, one more thing. These are just my opinions. Just my opinions. So, so, so. I'm just saying ahead of time. These are... Just my opinions. You don't necessarily need to like them. You could hate them for all I know. Just, they are my opinions. You gotta respect my opinions. Or else you're not gonna do good. Okay. Now, for... For Nemo, it's like an upgraded version of Cupcake, except... Less walk speed, more HP. Ridiculously slow fire rate. Um, yeah, you really want to take extreme caution, extreme advantages. You want to take all the advantages possible because he is meant to be a better assassin than Cupcake, but not necessarily the best assassin. Some play as Cupcake because they like Cupcake. Who knows? So, pick. I just say Nemo has more survivability, more damage, you just need to be extremely careful. Because one shot you miss, you're probably gonna die the next. And for... Get the heck out, I'm trying to record something here, you little piece of dip. Get out! Get the heck out! Go away! I'm busy recording something! People are escaping! I'm leaving you to die, Blaze! God, that's a Gordon! Don't wanna mess with a Gordon! Now you have to go and try to kill this freaking Helen who's trying to go into our base. There's the Helen right there, we're gonna have to go kill the Hell. Well, Helen Assassinator 2.0! Not today! You get well, well, he got the kill, but I, I don't care. You, you get rejected. Um, 
It's what else is there? I forgot again. I forgot. Oh yeah, Nick. He's the trolliest troll character in the entire game. Pick him if you want to become a horse. Because cause he's good. Trust me. I play as horsemen before. I like horses. Seriously. Play as him if you want to play as a horseman. He still does. He's like ranged. A ranged shotgunner. He's okay for range. You could, if you if you really want to be like a rifleman, but you're too scared to go into the head, go like, pew, pew, and then, pew, pew, pew. then you gotta play as Nick. He still does good damage, just not necessarily the best. Pick him, you wanna be a troll. The Beast. A worse version of Billy. And Summer. And probably almost every other class. Except Assassins. They are on a different level. Um... I, I don't see why people say he's good. I only say he's good for for steroids, like HP-wise, but besides that, he's extremely bad. He has low survivability, so... Freaking Helen, I'll kill you in your own dip. Oh, hell, oh, going in? These people going in now. Jeez, man. Oh, God, that... That that's not good. You know, I want to I want to refund my money, so I'm gonna go up here, be a gentleman. I'm gonna be a gentleman right here and just just decimate this building right here and not die because cool guys don't die. Please tell me I'm so correct. Well, that's the they're gonna get headshot. I'm gonna go and live, live. Oh, they're trying to, sh to spawn kill here, you little dick. Don't you dare try to spawn kill me when I'm in the base. Ooh, there's a Helen. There's a dead Helen. Ooh, there's a Summer. I don't want... Okay, dead Summer. Don't care. Fine now. Please don't shoot me, Summer. I mean... I'm just gonna sit here. I, I can't... I can't talk with all of these distractions. But anyways, it's like, beast. Use him if you want higher... Like, if you want to shoot faster and you want, like, more speed, but I, I wouldn't say he's really worth it. But he, if you play him well, he, he should be effective. It's just that, jeez, you got to hit and run so much. Billy could hit him, he could keep hitting you, hitting you, and then you should be dead. He don't need to run, unless if he has 1 HP and he's, like, running away from lots of people, then you should run. So, like, the downgrade. And just use him just so you can get levels. Not necessarily the best character, and I don't really like him. Um, uh, the Hads is like... Oh, fudge! You, you're ruining my record? Um, Hands is like... Okay. You, 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 you could survive more. Your walk speed sucks. You can deal more damage than an average Billy. You have more clip size, but your fire rate is just not so well. So I, I would say you want to use him if, like, as a sneaky assassin, just really slow. You you really want to be patient with this. What is with every of these freaking guys trying to spawn kill? Why is it natural for people to spawn kill in this place? Unless I don't feel it's the natural. Seriously, though, why is everyone spawn killing? Maybe I might have done it once. I don't remember. But, uh, but this gives me more time to go do what I want, so. It's like, hands, you want to be, like, sneakier. You want to be patient, you want to go and just watch people go by. Don't shoot at any enemy that you see instantly. Think about what you should do first. That's the guy that you want to pick, if you think that. Nico's different. He can survive more, less walk speed, more da good damage. I'm walking in the open, and I would say that he doesn't necessarily have the best ammo. He doesn't have the best ammo. He just... He's like, uh... Like a Nemo. Just... I, I don't know what's with him. I would say he's still good, Nutty Plus. Play him carefully. Cat, I would say... I heard in the second video that had the extremely terrible quality. I would... I hear people say that Cat is actually really good. And I have no honest idea. But I would... I'm just gonna believe you guys. Okay, you guys said she's good, so she's good. But that's your opinion. My opinion is that... She's the troll character again, okay? Okay. And Ben. Last of all, Ben. Ben is the guy that I wish I had. If I was able to get him, I would immediately switch over to him. Because he has infinite ammo, still good damage. Yeah. 
But I heard that he has no HP regen. And that's sort of what I'm really concerned about. If he has no HP regen, then... Fudge, that one second victory! Holy shit, I'll die! I'm gonna go Sapuku! Okay, one more thing. If you jump in the water and it's meant for Sapuku, like, suicide because of that happening, you could do that. Um, yeah, so I heard he has no HP regen, and that sort of concerns me, because how would you be able to regen HP? It's just like ammo in a game, basically. You kill a lot of people, you run out of ammo, you run out of your secondary ammo, what are you gonna do? And if there's no ammo boxes, what are you gonna do? It's like, what are you gonna do? There's like, no choice, you might as well go die, and there's no knife in the game. So it's, like, so, it's like that, except relating to HP. You really want to die, or or do you want to live? Because sometimes having infinite ammo is not so good than having infinite HP. Just like that. You got it. Gonna kill everyone one by one. I'll kill all. Where, where, where's, where's Julie? She's gone. She's gone. Done. But anyways, I think I have some sort of piece. Okay, so yeah, Ben is like strange. Oh, missed all shots. GG, GG, GG. Missed all shots. Worst player in the entire world. I will perform Sapuku in the water now. Thank you very much. Uh, there's a Julie. I could definitely tell you ahead of time that there is a Julie, and she is literally aiming for that person's head and will not be able to get the head. Assassin 2.0. Oh, I actually got the head. Just keep coming. Go in. Keep going in. I dare you. That's right. She's too scared. Literally. What are you doing with your... Why am I in this situation? It's like magic. You know what I mean, man? Dude, it's so much like magic. All you see is one, two, three. Everyone dies, man. I mean, everyone ignored me, and clearly there was something wrong with that. There's two shotgunners that died, and now she's shooting me. And I'm on her team. And I'm getting a headache, oh my god. Oh, that spike's gonna die. This is revenge for that hacker. That hacker that was ruining my freaking video. Go away, you little piece of uh, uh, a doodle. Oh god, who's shooting me this time? So yeah. Now here's an example list. And I see snipers. I'm going away. I'll see you next. Why am I missing? Wow, this is extremely intelligent shooting right here, I have to admit. I mean, it took me 10 years just to be able to shoot someone. I would say... Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor. I deserve that medal. Now, let's talk in with the gameplay. Shotgunners should not really be in the front lines. Well, they should be in the front lines, but they shouldn't like charge in like Rambo and go and like shoot everyone because you would be dead. They would target you first. You would die. So I play him as very aggressive. You know in the videos when I play Billy, I go extremely aggressive. Oh, that's a good headshot. But extreme, no, not so good. He was sort of standing still. Don't care. That was a headshot profit. But as you've seen, I go really aggressive in my videos. 
or with this demonstration because it's like you could fudge, you know, I, I don't want to do anything anymore. You could do what you want. Please go away. Don't fudge. How did he hit me and why did I bounce back? I think the wall protected me. Wall protector. What am I saying these days? Oh, fudge that. It, no, 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 go away, go away. No, don't, don't want, don't want you to notice. But yeah, I play really aggressively with this character. So aggressive, but I don't necessarily show my face every time. I go up and bam, he's dead. It took about 10,000 years to all just to kill someone and that's really bad. I hide in the shadows and wait until it's perfect for me to be able to shoot someone. But with Billy, you could be a little bit more aggressive, but, nah, you know. Aggressive. To the limit. Juking my enemies back and forth. Shooting them in the face, dealing consistent amount of, bur of short burst damage. That is what I do with the shotgunner. Jumping up like Assassin's Creed style, shooting them in the back, going up and pretend and calling it a day about intense extreme profit. And also, I have to be very aware about my surroundings because when you're an assassin, you gotta know your surroundings well. And oh god, in order to be proficient with your kills stuff. So yeah, that's what I play as a shotgun. Except, however, you can play what you want with a shotgun. I'm just saying. They're the burst. They are the high damage. They are probably one of the weakest classes the entire game. High risk, high reward character. Choose wisely. Choose your situation wisely. Choose your battles wisely. Take out the most important targets in the enemy at the enemy team. And you'll be. I'm more concerned about the flag than this guy. You know, screw you, Susan. I'll go home. Oh, oh, I didn't record it, huh? Oh, look at me, look at me. I got the moves. Got moves, yo. Yo, I, I'm being cornered. I'm being sandwiched. Fudge, fudge. But I, I'm being savage. This is this is a this is a bad situation for me. Got that that extremely bad HP regeneration. Oh, I got it bad for me. Oh, going down, going down, going down, going down, going down. Safe way, safe way, safe. And I'm daring going this way too because I know where this man's going to go. What the heck? Going opposite direction. Why is it going upstairs? What is he doing? He tricked me. I'm going to have to kill this man now due to his. Uh... Ah, I can't kill him. GG. They captured flag. Can't do anything unless a pro sniper. But then it takes a long time to reset. So. Yeah. Shotgunners, you want to take out the most important targets. If there's no important targets, do whatever you want. Shoot people in the face, get kills, make profit. And yeah, so that's the basis of Shotgunner. All you just need to do is to try to shoot the most important enemies. And if there are no important enemies, then you need to shoot the closest enemy possible. But then it depends because... First, it's like, you need to know your surroundings in order to get the kills, and then, I have 27 kills? Oh, I do have 27 kills. And then after that, you it's like, you need to know, I want that kill. I, I want the kill. Oh, well, no, okay, done. And you just gotta know your situation, plot, etc. That's how you get kills. You can't win out in the open. Unless, of course, if the enemy's an idiot and they're just shooting in random directions or they're trolling, 
then you'll be able to get the kill, but don't go out in the open. You want to go in small quarters, you want to go make sure that you're able to do whatever you want. Make sure that you still have enough room to make sure that they're not in your zone. Otherwise, we're having more problems and I have to personally talk to you in person about your help care. And yeah, basis of the shotgun. I have talked too much, gonna show gameplay, gonna do what we do best, die. Because everyone spawn killing us. And I wasn't spawn killing, I was just trying to make us... Okay, what is wrong with my team? I like my team. Look at all these people just spawn killing at the end of the game too. I'm just gonna go have to go suicide, excuse me for a second. Just gonna go and secretly kill everyone I see in my sights. Cause when you're Billy, you're gr you're grumpy, and when you're grumpy, you wanna kill. And when you wanna kill, you destroy and decimate the enemy team, making them weak and useless so that you will be able to shoot them in the face so many multiple times that you will be able to go walk on your grave for 15 days. Jeez, what am I saying? And as you can tell, if you have a shotgunner, if you own a shotgunner that does not have the best speed, at least lower than 18, you know what playstyle you're going to play as. You're going to play as the... Do it as the... That guy. Only reason why I'm using Dennis is because I need levels. Yep. Dennis, we're going to talk about that later in the next episode. What the heck is a mini gutter? And I want to cut this video short. Yeah, I'm going to cut it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I like, comment, subscribe, don't care, do whichever you want. Um, right now, though, you want to uh, make sure, one more tip before I leave. Make sure you get um, either the or kill gun. You should get the or kill gun. I'm repeating myself too many times. And pick as Cliff because you know Rick Rolls. Um, pick as the noob because noob. Be, uh, pick as the the, the 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 Nick troll. Pick as the cat troll. Pick as everyone troll. The end. Make profit. And once when you do that, you should accumulate one million nine hundred twenty-seven thousand and six hundred sixty credits. Exactly. If you do what I say. Anyways, enjoy the video. That's the dead man right there. Oh my god, a dead.